All right, so y'all know that we've always been trying to find the perfect glue. So I'm actually going to be testing out a glue in this video. I actually wind up getting to try two of them. These are the samples, and I'm going to get my hands on the actual product. But these are the samples. So I'm going to use that today to apply this wig that I told y'all I was waiting to show y'all. So this is the Isha um, Lace Bonding Glue. This is Absolute. The Absolute is a stronger bond that will stay on a little bit longer than the other one, which is firm. So we're gonna use the firm one today, and it is the Isha Luxury Wig Fashion Firm Lace Bond Glue. And I actually got the remover as well. So I love that it does come with the remover. All right, y'all, so the wig that we are applying Isha Firm Lace Bonding Glue with is the Janet Collection. This is the um, Super Flow Deep Part Wig, and I have it in 613. Now, y'all, I have worn this unit. I will insert a clip on when I first apply her so you can get a feel for Um, She did have some lace. I cut it, and then I wind up, um, I don't think I add anything for the rooting. I just wore it. The regular color and I probably got a little bit of my makeup on her so I'm gonna fix that a little bit once we get to applying so this is the unit we're gonna apply our Isha firm with so I'm gonna just put her on I already cut the baby hair and she has two combs on the side one comb in the back and adjustable strap and the lacing see how deep the parting for that lacing is very pretty very gorgeous so y'all I didn't add any rooting to her because I wound up liking her how she was so just slide my wig back. So I've already put um, alcohol on my hairline. So I'm just going to let that dry. And again, we're going to use the Isha Firm. So I'm just going to take the end of my makeup brush. Uh, this is just a regular flat makeup brush to kind of evenly apply it. Now the instructions say you don't wait for firm to glue up to dry. You do it with the Absolute. So you let Absolute dry and then apply a second coat this one you put it on immediately and you let it sit and press it in for at least one minute so i'm going to go ahead I told y'all the instructions i'm going to go ahead and apply her and y'all just watch i guess so i'm just going to apply it to the top of the cap So now what I'm going to do is set my timer in for one minute and just kind of keep pressing it to make sure the lace um, is still attached to my forehead basically. Alright y'all so I just realized that I only mainly needed it here on my forehead region not on the side tabs because um, I don't have any lace on the side tabs. So if I had like a full lace frontal then I'm just so used to putting it across my forehead but if I had a full lace frontal I would definitely do that. So I'm going to keep my size down is by utilizing the uh, combs and the baby hair. So I'm just going to use a little bit of gel. So what I'm going to do is basically um, clip my hair back and we're going to make some baby hairs and we're going to gel it down so the sides can definitely stay into place. But y'all, I am perfectly fine with it being on my forehead. So that glue dried really fast. Like I felt like it dried the moment once I applied it to it to there. I didn't tie it down with a scarf or anything. It just stayed. So like I said, y'all, I'm just going to um, put my hair back and then gel down the edges. she I did tie her down after um, I did glue her down so basically the wig is on tight from the glue and the hairspray that I put on top of it kind of like a setting spray and yeah so I am experiencing some tangling um, at the ends of course but this hair is thick from root to tip like literally the hair is thick and full from the front to the very ends in the back 
so i'm thinking about cutting her but i'm going to pan the camera down so you can actually see the length i am five five and she's kind of to like the rim of my butt so i'm gonna pan the camera down so you can actually see the length before we actually cut her until a little length because i think she's around like a 24 inch all right y'all so i did cut the unit I did try to curl the tips a little bit, but I want to flat iron the curls out of it so it can curl. But that might be my next video. Um, when I play around with her a little bit more, I'm probably just going to curl her all the way. This is definitely giving me the look that the celebs wear a lot. I know I keep bringing up Black China. Y'all know she's like the queen of wearing lace frontals. Like I feel like everybody in the industry is wearing lace frontals. And all the other stuff. Just feel like everybody is wearing the lace frontals now. I, and it's just killing the game. Because we're protecting our real hair and our length. Just to, you know, have a little fun. So yeah, y'all. I do like this unit. If it's comfortable to my head. Um, that glue. I'm definitely going to do a separate video on the glue. On both of the glues and the remover. I just did this for temporarily. You know, just to put it on for video. And kind of rock and take a couple of pictures. And shoot a couple of more videos, you know. So I do love this little sassy blonde hair. And again, it says the Janet Collection Super Flow SSABI, I believe. I'm, I butchered that probably. I will have it all inserted into this video. Um, so yeah, and I will have it linked below as well. So definitely check out Janet Collection's unit. You can definitely check out Janet Collection at the Beauty Supply Store, Diva Dress, all online on all the major, major, major websites that you know that sells all brands of hair online or in store. So yeah. Hopefully you boos do enjoy this video and maybe some videos that, um, you know, similar to this one may show up as a suggested feed or something. Um, y'all let me know if y'all tried this unit before and what colors to try next time. I'm loving the out of box colors because it's some colors that I don't have the bleach and dye myself. I go that route. So if I want some colors, I did see this unicorn wig that I thought was real, real, real cute. Mm. <sighs> y'all. Don't sleep on any synthetic units when you need something real quick and you need something that looks natural half of the time. Yeah, this is one because this is not high in luster. It looks like a natural bleach blonde lace frontal like human hair, Brazilian, Russian 613 hair. So hopefully you boos do enjoy this video. I will come back to y'all with probably a try on haul or whatever. So I'll see you in the next one.